If it's after dinner, it might be time for an after eight. Today, I'm walking the candy aisle. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff, and today we are having a look at after eight, or more specifically, the after eight thin mints, if you want to get technical about it. This is the core product of the after eight brand. Not that it's such a large brand, but, um, uh, you know, it's mostly known for this specific product, but there are a couple other SKUs on it, and it is a little just odd that it doesn't say anything more specific on the packaging other than just after eight. Um, this is, as you can see, it's Nestle, uh, created in 1962 as a Roundtree product, and then after Nestle purchased Roundtree in, um, in the late 80s, um, went to Nestle. But uh, it's, an, it's an interesting product. This is a, So this is a big box. This is how you buy it. It's uh, the Dark Chocolate Mints. Um, what is it called? dark chocolate mints that's all it says here and then this is just in French fine yeah um, but it's um, an interesting product they always kind of went for the route of like this is a classy product and you can see by the way it's packaged like that's pretty nice like this is kind of they kind of treat it more like like a box of chocolates or a box of cookies or something you know you would open it up and they always sort of try to start, sell this and market this as like a very refined sort of product. So this is how it comes. Uh, I remember these well from when I was a kid. We almost never had them. Every once in a while I guess we'd go to someone's house maybe and they would have them. Or maybe we would have it at a, uh, at a special, special occasion. But then inside here you have a ton of these thing these uh, the, these mints and they're all individually wrapped in their own little package here so it's dark chocolate squares covering a um, a mint fondant on the inside a very thin that's kind of their their trademark they're it's you know thin may normally not be a good thing but these guys have always sort of treated it as like it's exquisitely thin so that's kind of a nice patterning design, and it goes to a clock there. I think they had a tagline that was like, um, it's about time, or it's your time, something like that, when they first came out. But anyway, this is the mint itself. It's um, dark chocolate. They have made milk chocolate skews. Oh, look at that, after eight. That's nice. I like that packaging. I like that presentation. Um, and as I said, it's got this mint, white mint flavored fondant on the inside which is like a special I was reading about it and it, it, you know I don't you know I'm not a chemist or anything but um but there is it's a it's a special kind of fondant that they made for this um and it makes me wonder why they don't have this kind of fondant more often in uh, in things because this is a really nice gooey kind of fondant let me get into it mm. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. You can see the pull. It's actually uh, actually similar to a um, York peppermint patty. Actually, it's almost exactly the same as that. Very, very good. Um, I always like to work in peppermint patties. And I really like this after eight. The mint is obviously the predominant flavor here. That's what they're going for. This is supposed to be like a cleansing of your palate after dinner sort of sort of thing. You would have this and maybe like, I don't know, a port or something. I don't know. What do you have after dinner? Sherry? Port. That sounds right. Right? I don't know. I'm not fancy like that. I do like chocolate, though. And this is good chocolate. How refined it is? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, do I count it on the same level as like, box of super high-end, I don't know, Russell Stover or probably more likely some Swiss chocolate. Yeah. Maybe. Probably not quite like that, but I'm not picky. Um, I think that if you were in, you know, elegant society, that um, you'd still probably go for, you know, Godiva or above before you're hitting after eight. But for the common man, <laughs> this is definitely a classy product. And um, that's nice. It's just different at least. At least I'll give it that for sure. And all of that marketing and packaging aside, 
the taste is really good. Um, the chocolate's nice, but it's certainly not, uh, there's not a ton to it. It's a bit of a chew, as there is with most of these kind of peppermint-flavored chocolate candies. Um, but it also has a nice dissolve, the kind, that kind of nice dissolve that fondant does. Um, and the mint is really powerful, like a really strong mint flavor. So if you're a fan of mint, you've got to try this. I think everyone should try this, though. After eights are really good. If you haven't had one, definitely pick them up. Um, I could eat these, you know, they're so easy to eat these, just to eat, eat, eat these. Um, I could, not quite a box of them, <laughs> but I could eat a lot of them in one sitting, that's for sure. So, Walking the Candy Owl, definitely, definitely going to recommend After Eights. Um, for mint fans, if you're a hardcore mint fan, this is going to be a 5 out of 5 for you. I really think so. For me... It's a very, very high four. It's pretty great. I mean, it's just pretty amazing. Yeah, <laughs> definitely try it out. Um, so that's my take. I'm definitely a fan. You should try it. Four out of five. Uh, if you guys like this review, please leave a comment below, like the video, uh, click the links that you see on the screen. That always helps. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think about after eights. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.